Well, as we pass another key week in the history of our country, where we celebrate 14 years of freedom from terrorism, it is essential to bring back the passion and national sentiment that existed then. Sri Lanka was a different place 14 years ago. The possibility of coming back home from work was in question back then. Unfortunately, that fear and angst are being forgotten and due to this forgetfulness, we are losing the crucial thing that brought us together as one country. If there is any positive that we can take out of the war, other than uh, the sheer will displayed by our brave men and women in the military, it is the fact that Sri Lanka united under one flag. The country worked together to fight a common enemy beyond race, caste, religion or any other banner that we use to divide ourselves today. And we as Sri Lankans reap the benefit of that togetherness. And though it sounds like a simple concept, our inability to come together and work towards a common objective is one of the many reasons we have fallen behind. As a country, we may not be in a war with terrorists, but terror has changed its form in today's day and age. Sri Lanka is getting auctioned off to the highest bidder without considering the real aspirations of the people within. As someone who wears the flag of Sri Lanka with pride, I often wonder what someone should think to completely dedicate their lives to the greater good of a country, which is what a soldier does. I realize now that the question should have been, why don't I and the rest of us do the same. We need to tap into our hearts and ask ourselves if we have too much of an ego to salute our brave military personnel who laid down their youth, their limbs and in many instances their life. Let us at least have the decency to protect the sovereignty of this country in their memory. That is the only thing our heroic soldiers expect from us as they have committed themselves to a, lifestyle, a lifetime of duty for the nation.